medium toast. I really shouldn't. Uh, I really shouldn't be doing this when I'm eating. You know. But anyway, greetings. Um, I don't know if I'm going to edit this out. I might not. I might leave it in. What the hell? Uh, yeah, time for another model update today. Um, and the first thing I'm going to talk about is. Crimson Dome. Um, yeah, I managed to get some red paint. Um, this stuff's not metallic. But I wanted to get it on because I wanted to see how the paint finish would actually, excuse me, how it would actually look. Um, I had a couple of issues where paint, the paint wasn't actually sticking down. And you can see where I've sanded it back and uh, reprimed it. Um, but actually, you know, it's a pretty good finish. It's not bad. Um, again, I just got, I mean, you've got to sand it back again, obviously. Um, because that's part of model building is... 90% sanding. So I'm gonna pop, pop this down. There, popped it. And um, on with other things, uh, the Galileo Shuttlecraft interior. Now I've done quite a bit to the shuttle and um, I've made some new things for it. Uh, one of the things I've made for it is one of the computers for the Shuttlecraft interior. Huh? Huh? Awesome, I know. How impressive does that look? Huh? That's fantastic, isn't it? Um, you should really see it up close. Uh, yeah. But yes, I, I've been building and building and building. I was going to build the um, front console today, but um, certain niggly things about the front console, it's the issues that I've got to sort out. So, um, yeah. But anyway, I'll show you what I've done and what I'm going to do. Right, as I said, um, one of the things that I had to come up with was the computers for the inter inside of the shuttle. Now, I haven't gone with exactly what they came up with for the original series because I had a look at some of the computers that they had and the light boxes and it seemed to me that some of them appeared to be pieces of board that somebody just drilled holes in randomly and uh, they didn't even use a ruler so some of the lights are we're kind of all over the place so what I've done is I've built a computer that um, the, the lights are a bit straighter it looks right it looks sort of similar to what they had but it's not quite exactly the same and I'll show you that right now um, I'll go like this so the camera will focus uh, there you go so you can see that. I mean, these things are tiny, you know. They're, they're, they're smaller than my fingernail. You know, um, but this one needs a little bit more light proofing. But as you can see, it light, it's going to light up really, really well. So, um, yeah, that that's working out nice. Um, again, it does need a little bit of extra light, light proofing before I do the finished paint on it. But it's, it's looking okay, I think. So, um, yeah. So there's that. Moving on. Now, one of the other things uh, I've been doing is I need to build the cockpit um, computers and things like that. And what I've done, I've, I had, I don't know where I've put it. Anyway, uh, I found one of my old uh, lifts from a 350 um, aircraft carrier enterprise. And I took a skin mould off the surface of it. Now this skin, uh, if I show you this, it's got this really wonderful texture to it. So let me get in really really close there so you can see. Look at that texture. Okay. Now what I've done is I've I've cast that in clear to make the right hand side computer. So if I show you this, I don't know if it'll focus on that. There you go. So that's gonna look right. Once that's um I'm going to put a bit of uh, dark wash over that so that the recesses show up. Um, but that's going to go in for the inside of the computer. Now this stuff, uh, what's going to, what I've made this out of, this clear resin, is nothing more than this stuff. It's ex this stuff is exactly the same. This is the sort of stuff that some people use to make clear fiberglass 
Um, this is no different to any clear resin that you've ever used. The only difference is is the part B, which uh, alters the setting time on it. Aside from that, this is exactly the same stuff. This stuff, it, when it dries, it goes rock solid. There is no difference at all. The only the major difference between this and the really expensive stuff is the price. So um, it's it's just using that. Um, but yeah, I mean this stuff, like I said, this stuff dries, it's, this is rock solid, this is no different to anything and you can see the sort of finish that you get when when it focuses. You know, I mean there's dust on that now obviously because I've been sanding but uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that capture. Um, and literally, um, all you've got to do is know how to use it and how you use it is very simple. You squirt some on, mix it up as normal. But instead of blobbing it onto a mould, you get a brush and you paint it on. And once you've painted it on, you can see then if there's any bubbles or anything like that in the in the resin. And you, by brushing it on, you brush it on in, in coats, and that sort of eliminates air bubbles anyway. So um, once you've done that, then you take the rest of it and just blob it on on top to give it some thickness, and oh, you're good to go. And instead of waiting 24 hours to Demold, you can demold in two hours. You know, it on there it says you know four to six minutes. But you know if you're going to use it as resin instead of as a glue, um, then you wait a bit longer, so it, it really hardens up. But anyway, if you do it before you go to bed, you wake up the next morning, it'll be perfect. Uh, moving on. So this here, as you can see, is the back wall and door to the shuttlecraft, uh, which goes to the impulse engine. Now I've put in some fiber optics in here for the instrument panel for the uh, uh, air pressure whatever you call it environmental whatever um, and they uh, as you can see they light up well so um, I don't want to put anything too bright behind it because it does it doesn't it's not, not going to be like a nuclear reactor behind there you know the, but you can see you know that that looks pretty good one of them is slightly out of line which I may have to correct um, we'll see um, but you know, it, it's looking pretty decent. I mean, I can do. I can make it go this bright. Look at that! Wow! Burn your eyes up, man. Um, I've actually done that and lit the entire compartment in the shuttlecraft with it. Um, so there's that, and yeah, it's painted the right colour and everything. Uh, done the more work to the top. Now I've put some uh, foil tape on the top to help uh, stop light leaks. Uh, again, it looks it looks good. You can see how it all lights up nice. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've painted it its right colours, so you can see that's in there. And I've also put these scribed uh, wall panel lines in as well, so it's gonna look you know it's gonna look right. Um, moving on to the bottom, I have. There's the bottom. Uh, you can see I've painted the correct colours and I've given it a gloss coat. And I was thinking I'm going to put this carpet in. Now, this is a nice dark blue carpet. It's supposed to be a dark grey, but... Uh, uh, you know, this looks okay. I don't... I don't I'm, I, I'm not having any problems. I, I don't want to have to dry brush paint or anything this to this because um, this kind of actually works for it um, you know, I can but I don't see how it's going to affect it um, but when I put this together then if I, now one of the other things that uh, I've done here is because of the way I put it together if I put that on there and then put the back on on the top Look at that, huh? 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 It fits perfectly. Hmm. There's something AMT will never be able to say. So that's how the interior is looking, and we'll probably just cast a bit more light on it so you can see how it's gonna look. We've got all the wall details in there and stuff like that, and it's gonna have the computers on the side. Um. There you go. So there's a there's a nice image so you can see the instrument panel as well. So it's gonna look pretty good, I think. 
I, th I think that's going to look all right. Uh, what do you think? So yes, anyway, as I was saying before, I was going to build the front computer control console um, to replace this one. But um, I haven't got around to it because I, I just had a, a whole lot of other things to do. Um, but when I was planning to build this, I noticed something very interesting, which is the central computer, I don't know if it's Astrogator or whatever. So you see how this is tapered? Like this? There's a very good reason for that. Now, I know the shuttlecraft is wrong in every respect, okay? But the reason why this is tapered is because of the distance between the seats inside the shuttlecraft. Because it's so wrong, and because the seats are wrong, and because the width of the seats are wrong, they had to taper it to make it fit. <sighs> Rather than make the shuttlecraft the right size, the right scale, and get it all right, they, instead of doing that, they took the cheap-ass approach of actually moulding this a different shape because they didn't want to change anything on the shuttlecraft, they just moulded this to fit. I mean, honestly, this company... Oh! I... Seriously? Oh! God! Damn it! from a chili pepper and by Hades buttocks I will have my revenge Anyway, so I've got more of the computer to build, I've got the other computers to finish off, um, I've got the other side computers to finish off, and they have to be built completely differently to the ones I've built, because these ones are, I'm going to put this, you've got a wedge like that and the details are on this side, whereas the ones on the other side are a wedge like this and the details are on the top. So, um, yeah, I've got to build those, uh, got to build the front computers, and um, I've got to get my ass in here to program up an Arduino to govern some of the lights. Now, not all the lights are going to blink, there's going to be a, quite a few steady lights on. Um, which is how it should be, I think, you know. Um, but it's going to mainly be for, I think I'll have one for the environmental control. And then a couple of ones here and there. But I think the main ones are going to be for things like the astrogator and the helm control. Which is... Um, excuse me, this coffee's just driving out into me. Um, yeah, so it, it, I want it to look like it's doing something. I don't want, want it to just look like blinking lights. I really want it to look like it's serving some sort of function. So uh, that's what's coming up next. And um, it'll probably be, if I can do something over the weekend, I'll try. But in all honesty, the next update will probably be Monday. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and some of my silly ass stuff and uh, I'll see you later guys